people, we're the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. Then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Page of Swords and it's with the Seven of Swords. Now the Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it will represent someone who could be younger than you. It does also indicate that there's some, some type of message coming in. This person wants to communicate. They want to talk. In this instance, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. The Page of Swords. It tells us that this person, they could be trying too hard, they could be pushing too fast, or they could make you feel like they're stepping on your toes. So, you may need to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. Yeah, this type of person, they have a great deal of mental and physical energy. Now, it's with this Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords could be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying in on you, then you could be right. And if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern. Well, you just might want to rethink the impulse. Because we know everyone deserves privacy. So, basically, Page of Swords and Seven of Swords for the recent past energy between you and your person. Wow, this is interesting. We got two. I don't think I've ever seen two stalker cards. But what's going on, Leo? Yeah, all right. They're watching you and you're watching them. I don't think I've ever seen these two cards come up together in a reading. But what I'm getting for a lot of you is that you could have taken a liking to someone. Um... Because the page, when you hear that word in the tarot, that can indicate it's a student. It can indicate youth, immaturity, or someone younger than you. So, I'm getting that, I'm going to use the word crush. I'm getting that you could have had a crush on someone it probably for some of you it probably felt like a silly schoolgirl type of crush just kind of uh this person made you blush uh something about this person made you feel like yeah it was like a schoolgirl type of crush just in some ways it was kind of immature maybe maybe but anyway you took a liking to someone I don't know if you met this person online or it was an unusual way you met this person could have been so you started to watch this person you might have kept tabs on them you might have if you Maybe you followed them on Facebook or something like that. And um, 
you made yourself known. Maybe you started to send this person messages. Uh, could be something like that. That's what I'm getting. And then this person, they they did notice you. Um, they noticed you, but I don't know. It seems like they did not really communicate or reach out to you like you would have liked for them to. So you kind of just, for some of you, you just just kept tabs on the, this person and you watched them and f followed them. Yeah. Some of you even stalked this person. Somebody you took a liking to. Um, and what's interesting, like I said, they didn't follow up like you would have liked for them to. Or they didn't reach out to you in a way that you would have wanted. Um, this person probably, maybe they played mind games with you. For some of you, this person started to watch you. They were stalking, going back and forth, watching each other. You were watching them, and they were watching you. Whether you knew it or not. So, they probably reached out to you also, but it wasn't quite like you would have liked for it to be. So, you watched them and they watched you. You two were kind of doing the same thing. So, yeah, I'm getting this is some type of crush or some type of... Um, someone that you took a romantic interest in, or the roles can be switched. Maybe someone did this to you. You two just went back and forth. Just you were waiting for them to to approach you correctly, and they they were just watching you, and you were watching them. Something kind of crazy going on here, but. Let's see if we can get some clarity by looking at the rest of the reading. So, coming up, we got the Eight of Swords, and it's with the Nine of Swords. Well, this Eight of Swords, it's interesting. Uh, actually, the picture kind of says it all. It's the card that's above the word present. You see how this man, he, he's kind of like caged himself in with all of these swords. And there's a fire behind him. So I'm sure it's hot wherever he's standing. He can feel the heat. But he's just stuck in his head. He could be afraid. He's afraid to move forward. He could be afraid of getting hurt by a situation. Or he could just be afraid for no reason at all. And I say for no reason at all because, like I said, he's caged himself in with all of these swords. There's an opening right there. In front of him. He could easily put one foot in front of the other and just run. But he, he's not. He's just stuck in his head and afraid to put one foot in front of the other and run. Or just walk real fast. So, it's about being stuck in your head. Now, it's with the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, it's about guarding against probably feelings of anxiety. So, if you're feeling anxious, you might want to take a good look at that and see whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it or things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, you might 
want to take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty really is. So basically, coming up, Eight of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Wands. <laughs> yeah, so there's some, some kind of like a silliness going on here. I don't know. Two, two stalker cards paired together. So it's... You're afraid to move forward with this person. I don't know if it's somebody that you're watching. I'm thinking that it is somebody that you, you, you're you interested in. You're afraid to move forward with this person. Because you see, they're, they're really not doing much. But, like I said, they may be... It could feel like they're playing games with you now because they're just, they're watching and stalking you and you're, you're still watching them. <laughs> so it's causing a little bit of anxiety and worry. You're probably feeling like this was a big mistake to reach out to, to this person. So... You're just standing there, you're stuck in your ear, you're not moving forward with this person that you were interested in. You're afraid. It feels like um you could be feel like something's troubling you with regards to this person or this connection if you've gotten involved with them. And it's saying don't ignore your your gut feelings. If you feel that something in the relationship is unhealthy, then you're probably right. <clears throat> so let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Well, we got justice and it's with the moon card. Now, justice actually deals with the idea of karma, the law of cause and effect. So it's important to, rem to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So, just don't blame yourself unnecessarily if this is the case. Also, when you get justice, if you're directly involved with a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Now, it's with the moon card. The moon card, you could feel more psychic, intuitive, more than usual. You could start to feel that way. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts. Trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting. But it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get the moon card in a reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone or news from someone, it's probably going to take longer than you would like for it to. So, try to stay patient. But anyway, Leo, the challenge justice clarified by this moon card. So, whoever this is that you're dealing with, you feel like some things have come to light. Maybe you found out some things. Um, because with justice, you get some clarity and some truth comes to, comes to light. 
some things are brought forward to you and you could start to feel like um, maybe too much is hidden from you about this person not enough is known yeah maybe you feel like there's too many secrets with this moon card showing up so yeah you maybe you found out a little bit and you f feel justified in feeling that just not enough is known so you feel like you got some inner clarity and truth and you probably you're probably gonna start to hold back yeah you feel like they're secrets and like I said I'm picking up some of you found out some things and yeah you feel like you would be in your right to just um, probably not feed it anymore because you you just don't know enough and you're not trusting the situation anymore so that's the challenge now let's move on over let's see what the outcome is now we got the ace of swords ends with the hermit card now with this ace of swords it can indicate a new beginning of some sort could be on several fronts now sometimes this new beginning it gets started by a separation of some kind could be from a relationship from a job situation but just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be underneath it all is actually beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go where you need to be now it's with the hermit card the hermit card it can be a spiritual card it could have something to do with institutions large organizations everything from a bank to an entire christian church it's kind of like the strength card being in the frame of mind where you need some time alone don't be afraid to take it even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head it's also a card about trying to do really hard the right thing but you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others so Leo the outcome Ace of Swords clarified by the Hermit card so yeah like I said too much is hidden from you about this person that you took interest in and like I said it's just some some silly game playing going back and forth yeah you were probably hoping that they would reach out to you in a different way but they just responded maybe in a manipulative way or just seemed like they were using strategy or tactics and so they watched you and you watched them I don't know if you were waiting on them to make a good move or they were waiting on you to make a good move you could have found out something with the justice card here maybe you found out this person was married so you realize you just didn't know enough so you realize all the anxiety and worry and afraid to um, reach out or move forward with this person it wasn't worth it it's, yeah it's not you feel like it's not worth it so yeah with this huge sword here the ace of swords you realize that you need to get get past this yeah so you cut it out you're no longer invested yeah you cut it out and you're looking for a new beginning somewhere else and because her the hermit card is here 
you take to yourself, you try to get rid of the baggage that you felt when you dealt with this person. Yeah, you spend some time alone to clear your mind, think things through, but you've made a decision that you, you, you're you going to cut it out. It's just a bunch of... A bunch of foolishness going back and forth with this person and you found out they were married or something and you're you're glad because you got some truth some inner clarity so you, you spend time alone yeah because um you it looks like you had some anxious feelings or some anxiety that you experienced yeah so when you spend time alone it it clears your mind and you get rid of the baggage that you you went through yeah trying to um uh, deal with this situation so with the hermit card it's showing relationships they're probably not a priority for you right now that's the conclusion that you've come up with for some of you but for some of you you could know someone else that you um, could want a new beginning with or someone else could be reaching out to you that wants a new beginning with you. Because the Ace of Swords is about new beginnings. But it looks like the first things first. It looks like you want to get rid of the feelings that you had of anxiety about whatever this was. It's It's kind of crazy. I can't... I'm wishing I could make a little bit more sense of this. I would probably have to pull more cards. But I basically do the a little eight, eight card spread. So we're going to leave it at this. Maybe with your next reading. Which will be in about another four or five days. We'll get some more clarity. We'll, we'll see what the story says. What the reading comes up with for the next reading. Maybe this person will pop back up in the next reading. Who knows? So, Leo, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below of um, personal readings, if you like to try one of those. So, Leo, I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe and strong during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah, maybe we can figure out more about this person. Like I said, maybe they'll show up in the next reading. Um, also, keep in mind, um, if you're not dealing with a love interest or, or a romantic interest, this could be a friend, a family member, or a, just a situation. You kind of have to take these readings for however it resonates. Because they're general readings, they're not personal readings. So, take the reading for however it resonates. So Leo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.